Hey everyone, Melissa Lavangia Ingersoll here from RBI Shelter Tree with our next educational video from far to quote Grover. You can see on both of my hands, I'm holding an ARS pole saw of different models. This one to your left of the screen is the 45 model. This one to the right of the screen is the 55 model. You can see as you look at the top, the one on the left, the 45 model has the actual pruner head and the scabbard. The 55 does not, but I wanted just to show you in terms of comparison of height how much taller the 55 is without the saw and the scabbard. This video is going to review some of the highlights of these particular pole saws, and I wanted you to uh, explore the ARS line with me. So thanks for tuning in. Pain. These poles are not round. You can see here that they've got this really unique horseshoe shape with a, a rounded flat on the back and what that does is it allows you to get a good hand grip on the pole saw which is nice. Both the 45 and the 55 have this red grip fatigue uh, handle that is coated on the bottom of them which is a nice touch from ARS and the nice also thing about these particular pole saws is they don't screw tight so as you're sawing overhead and you need to have a little bit more purchase when you're rotating your hands just by a natural default of working with a tool overhead, you're not going to untwist or unlock the mechanisms because they've got these push pin locks as well as a graduated piece here that's a double securement in, in that same point. So to push them in, I'm going to push in those push pins, push down the lock, secure that back into place, and you'll see that now that saw has come down considerably in length. And now, doing the same thing for the above segment. I'm going to release the quick latch protection, slide that back down, secure that back into place, and lock it down. And now so I'm doing small jobs at this kind of height, which is still significant above my head, I could still get a lot more height off of it securely without being on a ladder, without having to climb trees and cut dead branches or hangers and things like that in my landscape and or at my house. Now, Two features that I like about the 45 and the 55 is they come with a scabbard for the saw. So when you want to stow this at the end of your workday, you can pop off the head, pushing both pins, and this packs really small in the back of either your work truck, and if you're running the 33, it packs in the back of your car. With that scabbard though, it protects you from being cut, which, duh, Captain Obvious statement, but it's a nice thing to have. To release it, there's a, you actually have to pinch the bottom piece and then this piece here slides over that. And then your scabbard comes off. And why that's nice is again, if that didn't have that little lock on there, uh, that scabbard could potentially go pew off in your car. It might be a bad day. You can see that that head is quite aggressive. This particular blade set that comes with this is the UV40 on the 40 five pole and the, you can see that you, <laughs> well by just sh sheer sake of my hand or something for scale say for example a glove that blade is quite large this is also the super turbo cut which means basically they've got these curves that come out they look like little horseshoes here uh, all the way up the saw and those allow for a cleaner um, removal of wood once you're in making a cut the other neat thing that this particular saw design has is this hook on the top. There is no blade here, but that is just for pulling out hangers and things. But this piece, which is called the bark cutter, this has actually got an edge to it, and this is sharp. You can remove it if you'd like to. There's just two set screws on the back that you can undo, and so that can come off if it's in your way or you find that it's in your way. But the nice part about this is that, again, when you're working overhead with smaller branches, you can make a bottom cut first to ensure that the wood is not going to tear down the tree while you're making your final finish cut. The replaceable, um, the, all the blades are replaceable, which is great. And the other neat thing that ARS has done with their, their universal head system, whether it's the 33, the smaller one, which is 23, the 45 or the 55, is all of these blades are interchangeable for all the heads. So say for example, I wanted to use this head on my 55, I could easily do that with just the quick pins in reverse. So it gives you, the operator, a lot of flexibility to say, for example, you had different heads for different types of work that you were doing in the course of the day. 
say you were going in a tight red maple and um, say columnar kind of work, and then you're going in arborvitae next, or maybe some ornamentals later, you could easily have another adapter set up with a smaller blade already ready to go, which is pretty sweet. So, quick rundown for the ARS line. The, some of the other key features that I wanted to add in here is that when you do replace this scabbard over the saw, you'll want to make sure that you take your time and make sure that it sits all the way down into the scabbard and so that the lock can actually go over the bottom. When you're rushing, you can just put it slided on real quick and think that you've locked it, but uh -huh, it will not lock. Some of the other features that I really like about this is this is lightweight aluminum. Now you saw from the first part of the shot, this is quite a large pole. This is a 55. My reach just for the pole alone is right around the range of 18 feet with the pole saw head, depending on which one you so choose, then I'm upward about 21. And with ease, I can pick this up and operate it without an issue. So this particular setup with the saw head of the size, the UV 47, I'm still under six pounds. So even if I was doing a lot of work and say, for example, I wanted to become a forester for the day and wanted to do some TSI, timber stand improvement, and I wanted to go around and prune off all the lower branches because I wanted to improve my timber stand, just a weird example. I could do this all day without being fatigued or really having an exhaustive type of day versus other pole saws out there of equivalent size and of nature. Because they're aluminum, they don't rust. The push pins are a really nice touch because I don't need any tools. So if I want to cha make changes in the field, I can do that. And then the last thing I really wanted to point out to you all about this particular line is the ARS brand. They've been around for a considerable amount of time most people don't necessarily know this brand because it's more, it, it is a professional grade, a professional line. So unless you're shopping at places that sell this, that are just geared towards professionals, most landscapers aren't going to know this brand because they just haven't had the opportunity to see it in the landscape. With that being said, ARS does make all of Steel's hand saws and their pole saws. So you might see a lot of similarities if any of you out there use the Steel brand between their pole saws and their hand snips. The ARS um, the company makes those for steel. So again, great quality all around. Something you're going to have, make an investment in and have for a very long time to come. It's not even something so low down, it's around the way of 10 feet. I can use the hook to grab just simple deadwood and pull that out of the tree. So I'm gonna make a cut here and remove this branch off the lower part of this tree. It's about 10 feet up. I'm going to follow up with an undercut. Use the whole length of the blade. And then do a top cut. You see it mismatch comes right off. And then I'm going to do my finish cut. And because it's going to be in perpetuity, I want to make sure that I am outside of the branch collar and I do a nice job. So I'm going to make my undercut very light so that I can match it. Again, using the whole sweet part of this UV40. It cuts so nice. Towards the end, I'm going to slow down so I don't over. Thank you for joining in for another educational series for RBI, Shelter Tree. My name is Melissa Lavanja Ingersoll, and I really appreciate your time. Thanks for tuning in. Good. See me at my website. This is outtakes of Melissa making instructional videos. <laughs>